Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good evening and welcome to Urban Lifestyle Cafe. I'm Michael Yabuji Black Brother and I have a white French blend that we are tasting tonight. It's Blanc 32. Blanc 32 and it's from the Gascogne region. It's part of the Costa de Gascon uh, region of where the wines and everything come from. And it's a Blanc, Blanc 32 Cuvée. So those who doesn't know the Cuvée meaning, it's spelled C-U-V-E-E. -E. And they use the Cuvée in France for usually the blends that they have. And what this blend is, which is very, very interesting, it's about four different blends of white wine. So it makes it really, really interesting. But the dominant, the dominant uh, grape is the Sauvignon Blanc. It's about 35% of the Sauvignon Blanc. It's 25% of the Colombade. It's 25% the Ugni Blanc. And 15% of the Grus Manseg. Um, the Grus Manseg, the Ugni Blanc, and the Colombade. I have no idea <laughs> what those taste like. But hey, it's a first time for everything. So it'll be a great opportunity for me to try to find these other grapes separately and find out what they taste like on their own but it's four different ones um, so pretty pretty interesting so this cuvee blend is one of those wines that goes really well with really light fish seafood um kind of asian foods cheese you know really a summer wine this is a really summer wine so you see it is a i i it, the price point that they were selling was 10.99 if you go online it's a 12.99 buy but i was lucky because at the end of the summer they was trying to put in the next year and i got this one with 20 percent off so even from the 10.99 i got 20 percent off there so always try to go over at the end of the year when they really start pushing those red wines um, there'll be a lot of sales on a lot of the wine stores so trying to get rid of a lot of whites that's um, just been on a shelf that may not have sold well, but doesn't mean that they're not bad wines. But this is the Blanc 32, and I got this one and wanted to try it. So, what do we got with this Blanc 32? I'll swirl it up. Look at the straw color with that, but the clarity is really cool you know with the French you know you're gonna get some dryness on there so I'm gonna just try to get that aroma to come up out of there um, really good looking wine right there so let's get a, a sniff of that mm, really nice it's really a it gives you a really good uh, crisp kind of lemony um, tight tart smell so you know I'm already anticipating that lemony that 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 ripe type pineapple and melons like that I'm already getting that aroma coming up out of that I mean I grab it and you put your nose all in there and, and it's just crisp and clean it has like a really clean crisp smell to it and, and that aroma is just coming out and it's, you know, they say refreshing. So I'll, I'll say that I'll have to agree is really a refreshing kind of smell to that, too. The aroma comes out, but um, really, really good. Um, so let's I'm still swirling it because I love to have that. Even when I take a taste, I like to just sniff it all the way up and going up from there. So let's get a taste of that. very good once again a very good wine this blend is amazing um, if you like Sauvignon Blancs this is really fruity this is a really fruity wine 
It's not a sweet wine. So we remember when we're saying fruity, it doesn't necessarily mean sweet, but it has that tartness in it. So it's giving you that lemon. It's giving you that really fresh, ripe pineapple. You know, before pineapple gets really, really sweet and you dig into it and it's not a lot of sweetness in it, but it's right at that point of crisp. Uh, it's really, I, I'm getting both of those, that lemony, pineapple, um, almost tropical fruit flavors is just popping out of there. And it's a, it's a slight finish on there, so it's not really going away. Not really dry, but a, the finish just lasts. So it's a little lasting on there, but it's good. It's very good. I had it with a soup because I, I thought I was going to do something a little flat uh, with a cabbage soup. But um, this one kind of stands out. So I should have drunk this earlier in the year and it would have been perfect because you would have had a good salad. This would have go great with a fruit salad or a less seasoned fish. So I don't I think if you put some seasoned fish with this, it'll take away those bright fruit flavors. So if you get like a white fish with kind of limited type of seasoning or some some fish with some Asian sauce, that Asian sauce that has uh, like the sweetness and that soy that's in there, it'll probably go really, really well with that. So I think this is a really good one. The Blanc 32 is uh, from the Gascon region, the Gascony region of France. This cuvee is really, really well. So let me throw these out there again. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, Colombard, the Ugni Blanc, and the Grus Masai. And if I'm saying that wrong, call me up and say, you need to improve on your French. But I'm okay with that uh, because I'd rather take the criticism and be better. But I really enjoyed this one. This is a really light one. So once again, I'm telling you, I'm running into a lot of the good wine now. And they don't last longer than two days. So this one probably will be gone tomorrow as well. So hope you enjoyed it. Get a taste of that. Uh, Bougie Black Bro, Urban Wine Life. Dot com and Urban Wine Life on all of the podcasts and YouTube so you can get to see this and you see how I swirl it and everything and you get a chance to check it out. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next Friday. Peace.